everybody, I'm Steve. Hi guys, I'm Brenda. And welcome to Survivor Boot Camp's video nutrition series. Vancouver, like Seattle, is a coffee shop in every single corner. It's crazy, we're coffee crazy. <laughs> I might even be a little coffee crazy myself right now. I think you had too much this morning. <laughs> Which is to say that we do enjoy our coffee. So, we're not going to tell you not to drink coffee, we're just going to kind of show you what you can do to make it a little bit better for you. Because after all, you're in boot camp, you want to be dropping some body fat as well as getting in better shape. That's the whole idea. So, let's get started. All right, now for the cold hard facts about caffeine. All right, guys. We're going to talk a bit about caffeine and how it affects your health. According to Health Canada, we get about 60% of our caffeine from coffee. Um, we do also get it from teas, uh, chocolate, medications, and pop. You know, we love our cola beverages in Canada. So the health benefits of coffee are it does make you more alert and you're able to concentrate better. So you guys know when you're waking up in the morning, you start the day with your coffee feeling good or you're able to study a little bit longer. But when we consume a little bit too much coffee, there's adverse effects like headaches, uh, irritability. We've got nervousness, little coffee jitters. <laughs> um, and it does affect our bone and reproductive health. So oh, that doesn't sound very pleasant. <laughs> So, as you can see, caffeine's health benefits are alertness, but if you have too much caffeine, too much coffee in, in this case, um, like anything that you have too much of, you're going to end up with some negative side effects. You can look at it the same way as chocolate. I love chocolate. You love chocolate. Love it. Murph over here, he loves chocolate. Everyone loves chocolate. If you love chocolate with one or two chocolate bars a week, that's fantastic. If you love chocolate with ten chocolate bars a day, you can understand how the antioxidant properties are getting lost in the massive amount of calories you're consuming. And as a boot camper, you do not want to be eating 10 bars of chocolate per day. Alright, so a lot has been said in the news recently about how coffee is all of a sudden really good for you. The reason being that it's full of antioxidants. So that's something we want to talk about right now. That's right, Steve. Um, coffee is full of tons of antioxidant compounds. And so people are saying it's the number one source of antioxidants in North America right wow. now, which is very misleading for consumers. and. A lot of people think they should go out and drink more coffee than they're already consuming. And we've already talked about the adverse effects of that. Um, the best thing that would be to do is to eat more fruits and vegetables, which we already are low in our intakes of. Um, those are the best source of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. Not to mention they're low in calories, so they can help you achieve your results much faster. Um, the other thing that you can try instead of coffee as a beverage is green tea. It's also full of antioxidants and it's low in, lower in caffeine than coffee is. Something interesting to note though about tea is a recent study has shown that milk in tea can sometimes interfere with the antioxidants in the tea. So it's important if you are using tea as a replacement for uh, antioxidants or as an extra source of antioxidants that you try not to have milk in there. That's right. And that doesn't mean that you should stop drinking your milk products. To guard against the caffeine effects on your bones, you want to make sure that you're getting at least two servings of milk and alternative products each day, and more if you're active. So, how much is too much? <laughs> Great question, Steve. Um, Health Canada says that healthy adults should stick under three cups of coffee a day. So that would be like a venti or a large coffee. That's um, all for the whole day. Not three of these. <laughs> Hopefully you're not having three of those. Um, but for women of childbearing age, you should have a little bit less. So just over two cups of coffee would be the max, which is like a grande or a medium-sized coffee. Uh, if you are pregnant or breastfeeding, make sure you check with your doctor first and to find out how much caffeine is right for you. And if you're wondering about how much caffeine is right for your children, make sure you check our links at the end for all the info. Another important thing to remember is if it's caffeine you're looking to cut out, add up all of your sources like we mentioned earlier, and that way you can cut out the ones that you don't necessarily need and you can still enjoy your coffee. 